domin zai rayuwa mai tsafta a duniya sa'an nan ko biki kiyama zai rayuwar da bai taba tunani ba namucinci da karamci da daukaka da yalwa da jin dadi to amma idan yake to zai sha wahala guda biyu shi zaka daina ganin wa'adda ba su da Allah ko suna jin dadi ko suna dukiya ko suna mulki ko suna da suna cikin azaba kai ne talaka baka sani ba so duk wanda bai yadda da Allah mutum a duniya zai ci karo da azaba daban-daban na zuci Allah ta'ala ya ce ko da sun kasance sun bar tsammani idan an sauka da wannan ruwan to sai ka mu wato ainihin a sun samu wato sa'ida Allah ta'ala muna roƙon sa yalwa ta imanin mu ya sanya mu cikin wato mai sumi kauya ga dukkan abin da yake nuna mana da'awinsa We read up to verse 48 of Surah Al-Rum yesterday and today we are starting from verse 49 where Allah the Most High says wa in kanu min qabli an yunazzala alayhim min qablihi lamuglisi This verse is attached or is continuation of verse 58 in which Allah the Most High informed us about his activity of a sending down a rainfall at a time he wishes at a place he wishes and how this rain uh, is formed and then after sending it down to a particular place or a particular location then the uh, settlers of that place will be happy they will be rejoicing when kanu min qabli ay yunazala ilay alayhim although before sending down that rainfall uh, they were mobilizing they were in the state of desperation if a particular place or country is tested with a drought no rain only uh, the, the weather very aggressive uh, then they were looking for rain praying for it so by the time or before it comes Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says they were mobilizing they were in the state of despair meaning they gave up that this maybe this rainfall will not come but immediately it comes they started to rejoice so uh, from the verse it is clear that uh, human beings up to this moment of technology cannot produce rainfall talkless of even uh sending it down to the place they wanted or making it to benefit uh, the settlers of that particular place with any with, with whatever form of assistance between themselves they cannot do this it is only Allah the most high who can do that therefore a muslim should increase his iman in the uh mightiness in the mighty nature of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as the only one who does this type of things and uh, worship him because if he do that he will have comfort in both this world and the hereafter however for the disbelievers despite the fact that you may see them comfortable they are doing well they are happy in this world but they lack so many things one of the greatest thing they lack is psychological balance they are not balanced psychologically so and this is a great uh, uh, challenge for someone to be alive but psychologically he is disturbed there is no way no matter how you see him to be comfortable right inside him that person is not comfortable and that person has no settlement of mind it is only a muslim who believes in allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that will have inner satisfaction and then also external satisfaction because of the iman that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bestows in him fanzur ila athar rahmatillah kayfa yuhil arda ba'da mawtiha inna dhalika lamuhil mawta wa huwa ala kulli shay'in Si Allah Ta'ala ji fanzur kai dubi ila asai rahmatillah kai dubi zuwa ga wato ainihin 
uh, alamomi ko kuma kace abin da ke haifarwa wannan ruwan idan ya sauka abin da zai haifar abin da zai jawo abin da za a gani na sakamakon saukan wannan ruwa fanzur ila asai rahmatillahi kaifa yuhi al-ard ba'da mautiya kai dubi zuwa ga yadda wannan ruwan cikin abin da yake haifarwa abin da ake gani bayan ya sauka yuhi al-ard ba'da mautiya sai ya rayar da kasa bayan kasar ta kasance matatta a idan muka duba nan wata biyu baya a nan abuja za ga kasa a bushe take a wasu wurare to sai kashi Allah ta ala ya sauka da ruwan sama yanzu ya so mu zama kore sharab saboda daman kasar a bushe yake to saukar da ruwan sama wadda Allah ta ala yayi mana sai ya sanya wannan kasan yanzu ya rayu da wa'annan ciyayin da suke tsoro ba mai yin wannan idan ba Allah ba kaga aya ce a bayyane karara asar shine alamar da za a gani abin da ya sanadi yan fitowan ya banya da ciyayi to wannan ruwan ne da a ce Allah ta ala bai saukar da ruwan sa ba har yanzu to wasu wuraren hari za ka samu abushe ke sai dai idan an zo an zuba ruwa na bayi wadda dan adam ke yi da kansa saboda ka ruwa yana da tasiri idan ya sauka kuma wadda ke da tasirin shine Allah tabaaraka wa ta'ala wadda ya san yi wannan ruwan ya mata ya mata tasiri ya mata wato ainin ya haifar ya san yi wannan ruwan ta haifar da wannan rayuwar da kasa da Allah zai ga da wasu kadar ruwan sa ba tare da ya umurce ta da ta fudda ya banya ba sai dai ta sauka kawai amma za ta yi tasiri shi sa lokacin da aka je ba annabi ibrahim a cikin wuta sai Allah ya hana wutan ta yi tasiri abun sani shi ne an je mutun a wuta ya kone saboda me saboda ita wannan wutar za ta yi wa mutumin da aka je ba cikin ta illa za ta haifar da wani abu shi ne kona shi amma da yake annabi ibrahim alayhi salatu wassalam saboda tsananin karfin imanin sa aka wujin da shi aka je ba shi wannan wutan Allah ya umurci wannan mutum mai kona mutane ka ta gona shi kulna ya naru kuni bardan wa salaman ala ibrahim ya ki wannan wuta ke zaman to wato sanyi sanyi ko ba mai cutarwa ba aka ce da Allah ya tsaya a wannan sanyin kadai da sanyin ma sai ya fi wutan zafi da cutarwa da zai samu bardan wa salaman sanyi wadda yake kuma mai aminci in ka ci masallacin nan ko ba isin bature yanayin da ake ciki ba zafi iska ne mai lafiya ba wanda kamar zo shi da dattarki ba karfi da ji ya fi lafiya ya fi dadi ya fi sanin tsuwan zuci akan na bature wanda shi ma iska Allah ne amma shi yake mamma zo shi ka sa isi ka ji gun ba iska sai sanyi to sai Allah ta'ala ce wannan sanyi zan to mai amunci ga annabi Ibrahim kenan ba ruwan karan kan sanin ke ke kawo tasiri ba a Allah ke umurtan ruwan Allah ke umurtan kasan Allah ke sa ya banyan ya fito to akwai abun lura a nan na cewa Allah ya rayar da kasa bayan tana mace tun da yana da wannan ikon sai Allah ta'ala ce to dan adam ya kula inna dhalika lamuhi almauta wadda ya wannan aikin lalle zai iya ta da mutun idan ya mutu tun da kasan nan ta mutu mai ta da ta saukar ruwa ruwan da ya zama to sanadi Allah ya ba da umarnin ta rayu to dan ka mutu ko na mutu ko mutu ashe kawai umarni Allah zai bayar mutun ya rayu ana buga mutun ne misali rayayye wadda yake gani a kullum ana ga mutun ne kar yadda ya jayayya cewa Allah ba zai tada shi ga abin da aka tayar kana gani mata ce saboda kai dan ka mutu dan na mutu dan musun mutu tada su a wajen Allah ba zai mai wahala 
bayi ma da wahala kamar yadda ta da wannan mutuncin kasa wanda duk muna gani ga shi kuma yanzu yara inna fi zalika la muhimmat lalle mai wannan al'amari yana iya ta da wadda ya mutu so da ka dukkan mu mu kara imanin cewa tabbas yadda muke a rayi yanzu idan mu mutu Allah ta'ala zai rayar da mu ba mu hisabi wa hoshi Allah ala kulli shay'in qadir bisa komai ba ma wannan ba kar a taita akan rayuwa ba mutu a kar a taita akan wato ainin rayar da kasa bayan ta mutu a mai iya komai ne komai Allah ya soyi to Allah ta'ala da shi mu muke rayi a yanzu wadansu suke rayi a da sun mutu da yawa to yanzu ma muna rayi mutanen wa za mu mutu za a saki rayar da wadansu su ma za su mutu har Allah ta'ala ya kawo karshen duniya da na farko da na karshe sai Allah ya tada mu a lokaci guda sai hatan wahida busa ga wuɗe tal za'i ko wannan mu duk inda yake a ko ina yake zai fito su ra hisabi Allah ta'ala ya samu cikin iman na'am so when Allah the most high sends down rainfall immediately it will have positive effect on the earth you as human being you will be comfortable because the atmosphere will be uh, will be favorable unlike before when there was no rainfall and the earth will change because it will be covered with green pasture everywhere you see green and grasses and this will make human being to be happy and also it is also a way for him to engage in farming so that he get away of his sustenance so allah says fanzur ila athar rahmatillah therefore consider look at the effect of the mercy of allah the most high as a result of sending down rainfall before the rain the earth was completely dry kayfa yuhyi al arda ba'da mawtiha consider and see reflect how allah subhanahu wa ta'ala do give life to the earth ba'da mawtiha after its death meaning when it got dried it is sign that it has it is dead but immediately rain falls then you see it changing grasses everywhere flowers everywhere human being feel comfortable the weather very uh the weather very uh good for the body of human beings this is how allah subhanahu wa ta'ala yuhyi al arda ba'da mawtiha how he gives life to the earth after its death then in dhalika la muhyi al mawta certainly that being who does this la muhyi al mawta is the one who gives life to the uh, to those who died among human beings so as allah the most high gives life to the earth which practically you are seeing just some few months ago you see everywhere you cannot see any green grass except where the earth or the portion is being watered where there is irrigation that is where you can only witness uh, such green pasture but now you can see it everywhere the being who gives life to the earth after it dies la muhyi al mawta certainly is the one who gives life and resurrect al mawta those who died among the human beings so as easy as it is when rain falls everywhere become alive so also if allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wishes he resurrect everybody who died at whatever time at whatever place Allah the most high will just give command to an angel to blow into the trumpet as he blew into it then everybody automatically then he will be alive and he will be resurrected so you can see how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the wise gives us example the way Allah the most high addresses our intellect that nobody even if someone is extremely dull there is no way he cannot comprehend this example because he knew 
that before rain, this was the condition of the earth. Now rain has started falling, it has started changing automatically. So this will make him to understand uh, very easily that he who is able to give life to the earth after it this then is the one who also is also able to bring back to life all human beings after their death. Allah the Most High continues that wahua ala kulli shayin qadir and certainly Allah is able to do whatever he wants to do. Allah the Most High has that power to do and undo. So very simple example that will lead an individual if at all he is not insane to believe that Allah the Most High uh, is the one who is able to resurrect the dead wherever they died, no matter how long they died, no matter the condition they died, no matter the, the, the disintegration of their bones and whatever, as Allah the Most High gives life to the earth, so as a result of rainfall, so also Allah is able to bring back to life all human beings after their death. وَلَئِنْ أَرْسَلْنَا رِيحًا فَرَأَوْهُ مُصْفَرًا لَظَلُّوا مِنْ بَعْدِهِ يَكْفُرُونَ He said, I'm going to put it in the book of 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 the book. Kakak si mai kejen dari dari gua nasa dari banyak jom. Ia nak terus sahun buku nandra asam manusian kapa. Di makai asam ayah buku. Kami nak yang kasar wajah si mai seri sam budi. Tuh dengan Allah kado iska musfarram fasa fasa warna warna iska. Saya rici terus sahun warna gua nang kegawan nang koreng ya koma pas ya koma tu ayat jazir. Kisah kisah mempunyai walau kecil. Nah, iskandar Allah dari kalau waktu itu ikhlas saya nih mengatakan, sila lah tuan nunggu na. Dan selalu membadi. Saya sekarang cipta yang mana abang dari samu gunung sunah musibah. Ya purun sunah kapur cipta Allah cipta Allah kuda. Kembali dah Allah Allah ikhlas saya nih kasa put the quarry. Haka Allah Ta'ala ya iya mwede kuwaru nye zantu kumuwa tu aini Ya zantu iska ya 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 sana na mutu wang Wanda nkaya ngwona Kuwane pali ya shugwona para Kuwane ya zantu wanyi babu shi Ya ka uke Ya abu ya kusama kumaya ka uke Ndole wanda Kaya wanda Wanda nye zantu Ya abu shi Ba asamu atau abin nak ikut kata, na abin dah ajar ba ke jidawa, Allah yang nak ingat. Pu idanya masuk hak awan nang si alat alat si subuci, si benda subuci mesti nak cingkap uci, so nak bercinc si senar si nyerda. What day ke awan nang si ke awan cang si ke awan, si ke rayer awan si ke kasih. Kamu dia dia rayer aku kau nak ikut kasih. Kamu dia rayer dan Adam dan Adam yang zoom. Zi dok, zi dokiran sa, mesti rayat, zi sakit rayat di sini. Hak mbak ini kita dah mah rayat deh, orang kain atau air yang guna, hak mesti ikut siwa. Di sini ki, itu riba orang kudi, hak aku mesti hana orang. Itu zi asal tahun ini orang datasi, orang kudi pun tidak mesti. Itu zi bawa orang life ya, orang zat abah cerita orang life ya. Itu zat bawa orang mulki, orang zat abah cerita mulki sa. Di Allah tak lagi, si mumi ni abang nak cipu kata. Yemi kau yang ga Allah aduk kan ye nai, ale ye nai injin dadi, ye nai umal wala, ye nai umwala, ye nai inciu deka, masih mi yemi kau yang ciwa dengan Allah ni. Tuan ni ciri iman ini kasih kah? Ba ida aku samu injin dadi kacih tu kaya dah, ida ba samu injin dadi kacih abu kaya dah. Wosu keratun so adinan suci ni kau. Agaknya mak mak ingin ke nikah ayah nak sama dunia. Mak ingin ke si dia macam mana? Si ayah nak masa ia awal. Si muka muslim si kat dera Allah Allah kat dera kau mai. Si kami kau ya si kau desi ke sama soji. Ima aku wanda ikut lah mak syari tu si cende je bayar ni. Bagi lah kerana cewa ayah angkara kala ayah kala 
kamar da rayuwar duniya abinda ita ce aljanna kake nan ai da ana ana samun abin da ake so a duniya ba tare da cutuwa da mun zan Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam da bai yaki har an karya mana hakkarin sa a yakin da aka yi da wuri ba da ba kashi sabon sa ba da ba to zan ta wadansu aka shi mas'udunci a makka ba duk ya fa saboda rayuwar jarabawa ce ga baki daya Allah ta'ala ya samu shi jarabawa and Allah says if we should send wind wind that blows with punishment dry wind that will blow over that green vegetation and render it musfarran yellowish from green now to yellowish rendering it dry then ladallu min ba'dihi yakfurun then they will remain meaning the believers the disbelievers they will remain there after that is there after sending that rain uh, wind uh, as disbelievers so now after sending down rainfall the weather changed favorably the earth become green in nature flowers everywhere then if allah subhanahu wa ta'ala were to send down rihan wind containing punishment that will render that green vegetation yellowish dry then ladallu min ba'dihi yakfurun they will not submit to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that it is a trial from allah therefore let them submit to him so that allah will change that to a better condition for them rather they will go back into disbelief So this is the nature of someone who is a kafir. However, a Muslim believes that as there is adversity, there is prosperity. As there is uh, sickness, there is health. As there is bad condition, there will be a, a better condition. And both are from Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala he, and he accepts he believes that no one can expose him to any of them. either good condition or bad condition except Allah the most high however in some religions the belief is that whatever you did not get which you are pursuing it is someone that is an enemy who is blocking your way while to the muslims no one no one even knows the way let alone blocking it against you rather it is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who this time that and if they are this the whole of this world loves you and they must they they swear that they are going to give you that thing you are denied by Allah the most high they can never give you so this is this makes a muslim comfortable in whatever condition in both prosperity and in adversity when he is sick and when he is healthy when he is poor and when he is buoyant he feel comfortable and he knows that Allah the most high can ever change that condition to a better one so uh, this is a sign of death if Allah the most high decide to render the earth dry then no one can change it to green as it was before the believers will accept it like that but the kufar will continue in their disbelief fa in ka la tusmi'u al-mawta wa la tusmi'u as-summa du'a idha wallaw mudbirin fa innaka lalika ya muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam Allah ta'ala yana tausaya mu manzo sallallahu sallam yana kuma rarrashin sa saboda idan akwai wani dan gata to babu kamar rasulullah sallallahu a wajen Allah ta warko ta Allah ya mushi matsayi babba Allah ya mai wato daukaka ba karami ba saboda ka Allah ta'ala anan kamar rashin manzo sun sallama yake domin me annabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam yana samun damuwa idan ya ga mutane suna barin tauhidi zuwa ga shirka idan ya kira su yake su bar wa'annan guma kan da suka san sako daga hannayen su suka su aje su a cikin kaaba suna bauta musu yana samun damuwa domin ya san karshen wanda ya halaka a cikin wannan tafarki to wutan Allah ta'ala tana gidansa 
saboda irin tausayi da Allah ta'ala ya sanya mashi to sai Allah ta'ala anan ina ce dawa da shi fa innaka la tusmil mauta din yadda ka so ba za ka iya ji yadda matacce ba yanzu misali a ce wani ya mutu a ce to kai mai magana ai babu magana sai dai mai mutu ba sai dai mai mutu ƙarya ne inda ya mutu nan to to ya mutu nan ne to shi yasa kafin mutun ya mutu a lokacin yake ji a lokacin yake iya aikata abin da yake so na alheri dama ce rayuwa wanda Allah ta'ala ya ba mu bayan sa muna fata muna yin addu'a Allah ta'ala ya ba mu dama yin aiki na kwarai da wannan rayuwar da ya ba mu gabanin mutuwa domin tana nan tana tafi to sai aka ce mun zo sallallahu alaihi wasallam bisa rarrashi la la tusbil mauta baka iya jidda wanda ya mutu anan ku ana nufin wanda zuciyarsa ta mutu wanda haka zukatan kafara yake matattaci duk kiran da za ka yi ba zai ji ba dan ta riga ta mutu to yana samun damuwa idan ya kira ya kira ma an samu da ma'ana in ya ga mutane musulunci da kyawun musulunci da shiga musulunci da ya dada Allah to sai samu damuwa to sai Allah yana cewa da shi ba za ka iya ji yadda su wala tusmi mauta wala tusmi summa haka nan kurame ba kurma na na abin nan na halita kurman da kunnan sa ta toshi wanda a ga kunnan manya ne dan wani kurma wani wani za ka samu a a kurma ne amma yana da kunnan sa ila kunnan ne baya ji to shi wannan da sauki kurman da ga kunnan kuma yana yana magana ana magana da shi yana ji amma can ciki ta toshi ta toshi ba ta jin gaskiya ba ta daukan gaskiya to shi ne abin da ake nufi a nan wani su ma wa nan kuraman annabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam bai iya jiyar su magana bare mu a wannan zamani wannan ke nuna mana cewa shiriya na wannan addinin na Allah ne yana shirye da wanda ya so wanda ya so sai shiriya wanda kuma Allah bai kaddara mashi ba sai zanto gashi ga 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 gashi nan a raye amma zuciyar ta mutu gashi nan da manyan kunnuwa ana magana yana ji yana mayarwa amma can ciki baya jin gaskiya Allah ta'ala ya ce addu'a ba sa jin kira ko daya iza wallahu birin idan suka juya baya sai ka ma hanya ko ka kira su ba su don su da sun juya sun kama gaban su sun dauki tafarkin halaka da bata don ko mutun ya bi hanyar gaskiya ne ko ba hanya ta ƙarya to duk wanda ya kama wannan hanyar ya juya baya ya barka to ba zai ji ka ba to wannan kuma rarrashin ya ga mai dukkan mai kira zuwa ga tafarkin Allah ta fara kauta ba fada bane abu a in ka kira mutun ya gane ka samu lada ya samu lada idan ka kira shi ya gane wa ka samu lada shi kuma ka bar shi ba dole la ikraha fi din kan ta bayyana rushi min laqai Allah ta'ala ya ce a babu tilistawa cikin addini ba dai dai bane dan kana da hawa ka tilistawa mutane ka ce dole dole a ba dole gamsuwa ne yanzu ka ga ai mun taru na masallacin dan mu karanta alqur'ani dan mu yi bibiyan mu alu na alqur'ani dan Allah ya ba mu dacewa na aiki da alqur'ani yaddani babu wanda aka ce dole to haka kai ma ba za ka tilisa wani dole ba abin da kawai za ka iya shine ka lura da shi ka gaya mashi da hanyoyi masu kyau da uslubi wanda ya dace da hikimomi da kai karan kanka irin dabi'unka wanda zai nuna lalle ka san abin da ya dace to amma duk da haka idan kai kai yake to ba aikin ka bane shirya inna ka la tahdima ma ahbunta walakin Allah ya dima ya sha ba ka iya shirye da wanda ke so Allah ke shirye da wanda ya so shi za za ka samu annabawa da yawa sai kokari kamar annabi Ibrahim alayhi salatu wassalam yayi yayi da mahaifinsa amma ba a samu karbuwa ba 
annabi nuhu yayi yayi da dansa amma ba a samu annabi nuhu yayi yayi da matarsa bai ma sani ba cewa tana cikin masu wannan abu sai lokacin da Allah ta'ala yake fad da su zan tu hada ita a ciki ka kusanta cewa ai ya kai inda yake uba da da miji da mata amma ka samu ta farkin su daban-daban to shi sa dole musulmi yayi kira kira yan wansa musulmai ga gyara ayyukan su kira wai da ba musulmi ba su musulunta amma sai sun ga dama sai sun so babu tilas ba kuma ka je ka samu mutane ka ce dole dole sun ci mai da wannan a da za ka dauko mutun da iya a daure ka kawo shi musallaci ka ce shi a sauran gaba saboda karfin ka na mulki ka tissa samu shi alwala ka dan kwara shi ya yi ruku dole ya sujada dole Allah ba zai karba tunda sai wadda Allah ya sanya wa ikhlasi ya yi dan Allah shi shi Allah ta'ala zai karba to shi ina ikhlasin sai ke ka duk din kwara mace ka sassa shi dole yayi ai babu kai musulmi ma ba wadda bai yadda ba musulmi ma wadda yadda in ya shigo masallaci sahun gaba ya zan to ba dan Allah ya sallam ba Allah ba zai karba to ina kan ta ga wadda bai musulmi da shi sa mu a musulunci babu dole ka gaya wa kafurai lakum dinukum waliyyati ba wani tashin hankali wadda ya ga dama yayi wadda ya ga dama yayi bari ba ka da matsala kai ka bi damuwa da kanka kai da ni mu damu da kawo namu shine a mafi girma Allah ya sa mu cika da imani so in order to pacify the messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam that he should not feel bad it is Allah's making Allah says fa innaka la tusmi'ul mauta you o messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam la tusmi'ul mauta you cannot be able to make the dead people to hear your invitation or your call to them to iman dead here does not refer to someone who is dead and buried in his grave rather someone who is alive but the heart is dead so that person is a, is good is as good as someone who died because the heart does not accept the truth so allah says you cannot be able to make such people uh, listen and understand and accept your message wala tusmi'u summa summa du'a and then you cannot be able to make a diff someone who has hearing problem he does not hear you cannot be able to make him to hear and accept the invitation you are extending to him to iman idha walla mudbirin at the time they turn their back from alhuda from the guidance of allah the most high therefore guidance is not in your hand rather it is in the hands of allah the most high allah says innaka la tahdi man ahbabta walakin allah yahdi man yasha o you messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam you cannot be able to provide guidance to whom you wish or you love however allah the most high guides whom he wishes Therefore take it easy O prophet of Allah don't get disturbed about those who are alive but they are dead because their hearts are dead about those who are alive but they cannot hear despite that they have ears they have what but as far as truth is concerned and the invitation to iman is concerned they will not hear so don't get disturbed about those people guidance is in the hands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so also those who are inheritors those who take over from the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam in inviting people to the way of Allah they should take this as a pacification from Allah the most high that whenever they invite people if they accept alhamdulillah both of them are successful if you extend invitation and the invitee refuse to take he he is a loser while you are successful in the invitation you have extended to him so therefore we have other examples to take 
to make everyone of us to feel easy and to feel uh, comfortable if he invites and people refuse, then it is not his own making to uh, impose guidance into people. Nuh alayhi salatu wasalam, despite being one of the high-ranking messengers of Allah uh, ta'ala, uh, one of the five uh, high-ranking messengers of Allah, but still he extended his invitation to his son, biological son for that matter, but the son rejected. So also, Lut, his wife rejected his invitation. Ibrahim alayhi salatu wasalam, despite his position in the sight of Allah and being one of the greatest messengers of Allah, the Most High, he invited his father, but his father rejected that invitation. Therefore, guidance is in the hands of Allah, the Most High, not in your hand, no matter how eloquent you are, no matter how much you can explain to people to understand, it is not for you, uh, it, the guidance is not in your hand. And no matter how powerful you are, that you can force people if the Iman, Allah the Most High did not put the Iman in the heart of the person you will love, you want him to understand and accept, there is no way he can, he can understand. If you have that power of coercion, and you coerce an individual to come to the mosque, perform ablution, observe prayer, you have done nothing because that prayer will not be accepted because the factor, the determining factor, of the acceptance of that act of worship which is Iman is not there in the heart of that person therefore his act is in futility it would not be answered it would not be accepted by Allah the Most High therefore for whom Allah the Most High opens his mind to accept Islam to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and to accept the invitation of the Prophet sallallahu that is one of the most fortunate people therefore he is Thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for that great favor. May Allah the Most High uh, give us more and more guidance. وَمَا أَنْتَ بِهَادِ الْعُمْوِ عَنْ ضَلَالَتِهِمْ إِنْ تُسْمِعُ إِلَّا مَنْ يُؤْمِنُ بِآيَاتِنَا فَهُمْ مُسْلِمُونَ سيارات عراجي وَمَا أَنْتَ بِهَادِ الْعُمْوِ haka nan baka yi shiryar da wato al al'ama shine wanda yake ya makanta makahu wanda ba yi gani kaga da zo an ambace matacce an ambace kurma to yanzu an zo kan makahu wanda ba yi gani idan ba yi gani kai kana gani kai kokari ka ja shi ci a shi ka ba shi to kaga ba inda zai ji kenan bai gani bai iya yadda cewa bai gani ne saboda ka a duk daga idan sa manya manya ba gilashi saka ba amma bai gani gaskiya saboda ka biye da zakai da shi ba zai ki gaskiya ba dan idan a a ido ne kawai wanda yake amfanin sa na duniya ne baya hangen abin da ya wuce nan to shi sa Allah ta'ala ya kara da cewa ba ka iya wato ainin fuskantar da shi wannan makahun zuwa ga shirya na addinin musulunci ba zai gani ba idanan ba na ganin wannan ne ba an zalalatihim daga batan da yake ciki na halaka na kafir shi da shirka ba ka iya wato lura da shi ko ka lura da shi ba zai gani ba ko ka ce da shi wa'annan gumakan da ake botawa ai sassako su aka an kawo su iya za su zaman to iyayen gije iya za su manto a umbota to shi bai gani shi iya ganin sa kenan wa'annan gumakan su za a bauta wa ba Allah ba Allah ta'ala ya saki cewa a cikin wannan aya in tusmi'u illa man yu'minu bi ayatina wa'ida kake iya ji yadda su su ji su gane su fahimta su ne masu imani wanda za ka ce da su Allah shi yi halitta shi ya halice mu shi ya saukar da ruwa shi ke fudda tsirrai shi ke ba mu abinci shi ke ba mu iska shi ke hudu da rana shi ke kawo wata shi ke duk wayan abubuwan saboda ka ba mu da wani abin bauta ya tambashi 
ni imani si chinga sikiani shitun tuni maida ya ma san mutum bi haka waya alaka to wa'annan su ne idan ka gaya mai magana zai ji idan kai wa'azi zai fahimta idan kace ka zaba dare bane zai ci ya gane ya kuma yadda duk abin da Allah ta'ala ya haramta wadan adam sai ka samu akwai dalilin cutar da shi dan adam ne Allah ba ya bukatan kowai namu to amma sai ka samu mutane sai su kasa ganewa yanzu misali ka dauko hatsuran mota a Najeriya wadda cikin dalilan wa'annan hatsuran shaye-shayen kwaya da shaye-shayen giya ba su ne kai dalili ba amma suna ciki suna cikin dalilan to kaga yanzu ana umarin a ce mutum ya sha giya kare tu to wannan yana da kyau amma ka je nan huta ko nan wannan inda ake lo da motoci manya manya masu zuwa kudin cin kasar nan har ma arewaci wannan lokaci sai ka samu gabara san a wajen anan ake sayarwa shi ko drewan da zai ja motin yana nan yana dirkawa ya kwasa yadda yake so da kyar zai hau kan staring haka zai danna motan nan ya taka ta ai ihu ya je kashe yan najeriya to da wuya ga an ji an kama shi ko da yake makobtan mu ne masu kamawa da wuya ka je wajen a tsaya a ce to duk masu yan nan an hana da wuya ka ga ta to a je a hana giyan mana in ba a so da najeriya mutu gashi a inda ake tuka motan ko ba gane ma idan musulmai magana sai a ce a wannan addini yana tsanani yana tsani sai an mutu ne za a samu a samu gyara so da abubuwa da yawa suna faruwa na rashin to ainin tunani mai tsawo da tunani da gaskiya za a yi sai a je duk wani wanda zai tuka mota a gan shi ya shiga wannan wajen ya shata to a kama shi a kai ku ba ma ba ma a hana shi ba a je a hukunta shi dan yana so ya kashe Najeriya ba maganar addini ba maganar hankali sai a ce a ba yadda ba dan me dan abun kawai yana da alaka da musulunci ko ba gane ba saboda ina sai a ce a ba yadda ba sai hankalin ya bace amma inda ba dan wannan ba da a ce ba wannan dokan a musulunci har kawai wani mai tunani ya tunanin cewa to ya kamata a hana masu shan giya anan saboda dai babban sai a yi doka sai a yi passing bill amma yanzu ba za a yi ba saboda dai kar a ce saboda babu hankalin to shi sa kar ka ji mamakin ana cewa kafuran maka kafuran maka kafuran zamani ma wannan lokacin hankalin sai ya bace to ma me zai hana ma a yi dokan kar a sha giyan gaba daya me zai hana tun daga yayi tana cutar da mutane tana sawa ana mutuwa tana sawa ana fadaci fadaci daga mutun ya fadda kwalwa ya buga wa dan wansa a gidan giyan a zo a ji turanci to amma da yake hankalin bai je nan ba sai a danga ce a a dan kar a ce in an yi haka a yi musulunci to misalan suna nan da yawa na abubuwa za ka samu musulunci ne ce kada ai kaza to akwai dalilin sa kuma fa'idan zai koma ga dan adam dan ya yadda to idan kuma hankalin ya bace ko ganin ya ganin ya makanta ko kunnan ya toshi ko ka fada ba za a ji ba a alqallu ma sununa hasuran da aka yi da bangaren giya na barasa rashin hankalin drewa shi ma akwai alqalam musai to 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 me yasa ba za a hana wani ba wani kina jin zuwa za a yi wani na'ura idan an tsaye da mutun idan ya sha giya an na'urin zai gane Allah ya sa wake to Allah ya sa aka wani na'urin Allah ta'ala ce in tusmi zaka ji ne man illa man yu'minu bi ayatina baka yi baka yi je da su sai wa'adda suka yi imani su ne za su yi bi ayatina suna imani da ayyuka mu fa hum muslimuna su ne masu mika wuya su ne musulmai shi muslimi abin da yasa aka bashi wannan sunan mai tsafta mai kyau yana mika wuya zuwa ga abin da Allah ta'ala ya ce ya yadda da Allah ya yadda da lokokin Allah bai da jayiya kamar ya sa a wuyan sa ne aka daure igiya ana ja duk inda aka ce ga inda zai je zai dai je shi sa wannan suna yake da 
yake da girma shine suna mafi kyau mafi dacewa da musu duk wani suna zaka samu mashi banda wannan a to kari ne kawai yana iya yana yana iya kara mai kwalliya amma aslin aslin sunan su shi musulmi ne ko san ba kuma musulmi na tun ba yau ba akan harshen annabi ibrahim alayhi salatu wassalam aka samu da musulmi an kuntun shuhada izhadar ya gubal maut iz qali wa dayi ma ta'budun min ba'di qalu na'budu ilahaka wa ilaha wa abaika ibrahim wa ismail wa isaka ilahan wahidan wa nahnu lahu muslimun kaga annabawa ne su ma suke kokarin su tabbatar da ayyan su za su mutu akan wannan tabarki da suna musulmai shi sa Allah ta'ala yake cewa ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu ittaqullaha haqqa tuqatihi wa la tamutunna illa wa antum muslimun ya ku masu imani kaga masu imani aka kira aka ce su ji tsoron Allah matukkin tsoron sa kul suka yadda suka mutu fa ce suna wannan addinin na musulunci wanda aka samu suna musulmai baka da sunan da yi wannan shine lambu wa ko ina ka je ka nemi ɗan wanka musulmai ko ina ka je kuma ka yi ɗan wanka musulmai idan ka ga ƙwarna a tare da su ka gyara su ma an san ga wani laifi a tare da kai su gyara ma Allah ta'ala ya sa mu cika muna musulmai then in this verse Allah says wa ma anta bi hadil umri an dalalati then you could not be able to guide al umri blind the blind an dalalati him from their misguidance from their error when they are astray you cannot guide so guide someone who is blind blindness here also refers to the blindness of the heart because so many people who are blind they are rightly guided and they are righteous people better than some of those whose eyes are are healthy so allah says you could not guide al umi the a blind person and allah let him from their error in tusmi'u illa man yu'minu bi ayatina the only one you can make him to hear and accept your invitation illa man yu'minu bi ayatina except those are those who believe in our verses fa hum muslimun they are those who are submissive those who are muslims who submitted themselves to allah the most high so as the previous verse indicated guidance is the, in the hands of allah the most high if allah the most high kills one's heart kills one's ear kills one's eyes he cannot be able to see the truth there is no way he can uh, find a way to guidance that is why you see people committing errors committing sins but as far as they are concerned they cherish it they consider it as a civilization while you see them backward but they see you as someone who is not civilized therefore if you uh, don't drink you don't take alcohol or you don't uh, chase women they see you as someone who is not civilized but they are in dalala how can you make those people to understand you cannot be able to make them to understand because the heart is dead the ear cannot hear the truth and take it the eyes cannot see the truth and take it therefore the only person who will understand and accept your invitation illa man yu'minu bi ayatina are those who believe in our verses for muslimuna and they are muslims this is the best identity that an individual can ever be identified give him whatever name but for him to take the name a muslim is the best identity ever in this world that you can have so that allah will be pleased with you that is why even the messengers who came before the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam ensured that their children remain with the name with the identity of uh, being muslims even after their death am kuntum shuhada id hadara yaqub al mautu id qala li banihi ma ta'buduna min ba'd 
where you witnessed? Did you witness the time when death approached Yaqub alayhi salatu wasalam? Then his concern, his greatest concern was to ask his children, Mata'abuduna Mimbadi, whom are you going to worship after my death? They confirmed to him that Na'budu ilaha wa ilaha abai. We are going to remain unfailingly worshipping ilaha, your Lord, the Lord of your forefathers, Ibrahim and Ishaq, the Lord of Ibrahim and Ishaq, ilaha wahidan, the only deity worthy of being worshipped, wa nahnu lahu muslimun, and we are committed, submissive to him as, uh, as believers. And Allah the Most High also warned all of us that وَأَتَسِمُوا بِحَبْلِ اللَّهِ جَمِيعًا وَلَا تَفَرَّقُ You should hold fast the rock of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and do not get divided. Allah says, uh, do not allow yourself to die except while being Muslims. So it is when you die as a Muslim, it is when you are welcomed by Allah the Most High and a comfortable abode is prepared for you right from the time even before your death. So a Muslim is such a fortunate individual who should remain thanking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and worshipping him to the best of his ability because it is he whom Allah the Most High opens his mind to accept the invitation of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam unlike those who are alive but their, their hearts are dead. They are alive, but they are deaf. They cannot hear. They are seen with their eyes, but they are blind as far as Allah is concerned because they cannot see the truth and identify themselves with that truth and accept it. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala increase us in guidance and they take our lives as a true Muslims who submit themselves to Allah the Most High. This is the point we are going to stop, insha'Allah, to continue tomorrow by the grace of Allah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.